Cameron Chase with Chase Dance Company and I am here today to give you your beginner ballet class. So this is for the students that maybe have been um, dancers before when they were younger and they want to get back into it or simply because you don't have the opportunity to take ballet classes where you live. So therefore, we turn to YouTube tutorials. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with your beginner ballet class. Um, as you can see, I'm not in a real dance studio. I'm here in a basketball court. Um, this is where I'm currently teaching right now, which is fine. It's an open space, so we're super happy to have it. Um, if you do not have a ballet bar, you can simply use a wall or hold on to a chair for the exercises. We are first going to start with plies. Plie means to bend, so it's just a simple, well, not really simple. It seems very simple, but it's super complex, all the details that go into a plie. We're going to get started with those plies. We have two demi plies in first position, two demi plies in second position, two demi plies in fourth, two demi plies in fifth. Now I know that can seem super overwhelming if you haven't danced before. Demi plie means a small half bend. Um, grand plie would be your, your full, full grand big plie. So some things to think about when doing your plies um, is working in opposition. As you, as you go down, you're actually pulling up through the top of your head. And as you kind of straighten, you're pressing the floor away from you. So you have this opposing energy going on every time you go up and down. <clears throat> Second thing to think about is to really, as you, as you start to straighten your legs, to feel the backs of the knees make that contact. Okay? Third thing to think about is every time you bend your knees, you're pressing your knees backwards so that we don't let them collapse and roll over into that overpronating position on our feet. Keep your knees nice and pushed back. Again, one, two, tendu, three, four, back to the ball, 
six, close, seven, two counts each. To the ball, one and two, tippy toe, three, four, back down to the ball, the foot, six, close, seven, eight, ball, one, two, toe, three, four, ball, five, six, close, seven, twice to the back, one, two, toe, three, four, ball, five, six, slide it in and close and again, to the ball and toe, sorry, ball, and first, same thing, two more to the side, and we'll finish. So for Tom Dews, your feet, your knees should never bend. We're constantly pulling up in the legs, okay? Squeezing them together. I know a lot of teachers don't like to say squeezing, but making sure that those kneecaps are lifted. Six, seven, bend. So when we're Tom Dews to the front, you want to think of leaning with your heel so that you keep the turnout. If we were to lean for toe, you would get this parallel Tom Dew, which is a different style. It's not ballet, right? So we're going to work on getting that toe forward, and then pulling the toes, or sorry, heel forward going out, pulling the toes backwards as we close into first position. From when you're Tom Dew to the side, think of sliding the whole foot on the floor on the way out. So I'm pressing through the heel for this split second until it gets to the ball, and then the, then the energy extends through the toes. And then now it comes back down through the foot, pulling my leg in, so I'm using my inner thigh all the way back to the first. When you turn it to the back, make sure your hips stay spaced in the front, but you're trying to rotate in this um, ball and socket joint to try to get your knee to look to the side as much as possible without lifting the hip, okay? So hips always stay squared to the front. This doesn't really move the ballet too much. So let's go ahead and get started.
first position, we have tongue to the front, one and two, through the first three, and four to tongue back, five and six, bring it back to first seven, and eight to the front, one, two, first three, four to the back, five, six, finish, seven, eight. So the idea is to keep the leg brushing front and back continuously versus like making it stop every single time. And make sure that you are still hitting that first position between switching the leg from the front, uh, devant, to back, derriere.
positions. It's a little bit more of a challenge because we have to keep the feet a little bit tighter and more squared off. So you have to do to the front two times on quad. One, two, close, three, four, and five, six, seven, to the side. One, two, we're going to close in front first. So anytime you have an even number, two or a four, you don't change on the first one. If it's ever an odd number, you're going to change on the first one. So we time you out one, two, that was a knuckle. Close in front, three, four, and a five. Six, close in back, seven, eight, and go one. Two, close, three, four, and two, back. Six, seven, two, to the side. One, two, so it's, if it's an even number, and we just came from the back, which way are we going to close first? In the back or in the front? In the back. Oh, um, so close in the back, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I think I got those counts mixed up, but two counts out, two counts in, two to the front, two to the side, two to the back, two to the side.
you'll start picking up on the terminology. Um, so this exercise is breaking down the preparation before a frappe. So a frappe can either be done with flex foot, brushing the floor, or through sur coup de pied, which is a wrapped foot. Sur le coup de pied is heel forward, toes wrapped around to the back. This is the Russian style, uh, the gamma. So from here, yes, we could tendu go into sur le coup de pied, and our frappes take place from that position. So this exercise breaks down that quick introduction. Seven, and we're gonna tendu to the side, one, and two, we lift up the leg and go into sur le coup de pied front, so heel is wrapped around the ankle, the toes are in the back. Heel forward, toes back. Two, tendu three, four. Let me just read through those counts. One, and two, so it could be a three, four. Back to tendu five. Six, slowly close, seven, eight, and again one. Two, wrap it, three, four, tendu five. Six, close the fifth, seven, eight. We're going to do that four times on the right leg and four times onto the left leg. So up close, the serve coup de pied looks like this. So have, you have your wrapped foot, your heels to the front, and your toes wrap around to the back as much as possible. So don't show when you do your petit bama, when you do frappes, everything is from this wrapped sort of coup de pied position. Okay, this is a different, this is a Russian style versus coming from a flex foot or beating completely front and back.
students. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you as soon as possible for lesson number two.